Well, surprise, surprise, right as the liberals are feeling the heat on LaughScam the most, just happens to coincide with the time when they announce we have to regulate social media. A number of months ago, Democratic Institutions Minister Karina Gould and others in the government had said, look, we're not happy with what Facebook, Twitter, and other social media outlets are doing to combat misinformation and political disinformation, online hatred, and all these quite frankly, vague terms that, yes, at first glance, they don't sound like particularly positive things that anybody would endorse, but it was unclear what specifically they were getting at. Well, they said back then, we're going to give these platforms a number of months to clean up their act in the lead up to the next election, or we're going to do it for them. We're going to regulate them. At the time, they never offered any pledges of what specifically they'll do. And even now, they're not really giving any definition of exactly how they're going to approach this either. But Karina Gould has said, looks like they've failed. Facebook and the rest, they have not succeeded in self-regulating. Big problem though, what specifically were you hoping they would do? So a lot of times when people are posting some some ill-mannered things, some rude things, some conspiracy theories, and heck, we had the case in the New Zealand shooting of a guy live streaming that event, that despicable event. I mean, what a horrible thing to do. I'm just a little unclear how they prevent that from happening. Do you have people monitoring these sorts of things all the time, 24-7, everybody's accounts? I, I don't know, I have no clue, but do they? And that's the question, and if they're gonna regulate this, can they pinpoint how to actually do it? When it comes to issues like what they call hate speech and misinformation, disinformation, well, there are already laws on the books. There are libel laws, there are defamation laws. If someone is saying something that's just 100% not true and damaging to an individual, you can enforce the laws that are already on the books. Now, if someone is engaging in hate speech to the tune of threatening to harm people, well, there are already laws against that, incitement to violence, death threats, threats of violence against people. If you have someone threatening to kill you or anything like that, whether they're doing it online or to your face in person, you can call the police about that. Those are very real things. What is it right now that should not be considered free speech and shouldn't be allowed, but is also not already covered by the current laws governing these issues? So far, the liberals have failed to make the case for that. Now it gets extra worrisome when you look at how they've also bandied about these terms like misinformation and disinformation. You remember when LavScam first broke, Justin Trudeau said the story is false. Uh, the allegations in the Globe story this morning are false. Months later, he's pretty much all but admitted everything is true, he just doesn't believe he broke the criminal code in doing it. Meanwhile, he had proxies like Liberal MP Randy Bossino who came forward and called LabScam a witch hunt and a fishing expedition. Kind of similar language that we've heard from other people wanting to discredit news stories out there. They basically are calling LabScam disinformation and misinformation. And now they're threatening to sue Andrew Scheer for saying what a whole lot of Canadians already think, that Justin Trudeau has pretty much interfered with the justice system. Well, hold on a second. Would they like to block all sort of reporting and commentary on that? I've read a whole lot of commentary where people do pretty much agree with what Andrew Scheer said. Would they like social media to suppress that? It's all rather frustrating that this is happening, of course, at the interesting timing of an election coming up. Why do they necessarily need to do it now? Does it have something to do with their own electoral prospects? I mean, this stuff is stranger than fiction. To use phrases like Orwellian and slippery slope and so forth, well, we're there. Look, I think Canadians can have a reasonable conversation if there are some specific rules or laws or legislations that aren't on the books, and there is a very compelling reason why they should be. But so far, the Liberals haven't presented that. And they also haven't specifically said what is the exact problem here. People saying mean, rude, improper things on the internet, yeah, it's the internet, it's social media, it's been that way forever. I wish everybody was always polite to everybody all the time, but we know that doesn't happen here or anywhere else in the world. Quite frankly, the most troubling part of this is the vague way they're talking about it all. Canadians don't want to see their social media regulated in this broad amorphous way because they're worried if these rules might end up clamping down on them simply for doing things like disagreeing with the government. It's certainly something Canadians uh, need to be concerned about and they need to get more specifics from the government.